It's widely known that many older African leaders have not been successful in their roles. These leaders, often seen as weak, greedy, and self-serving, tend to forget that they are meant to serve the people once they attain power. They lack accountability and transparency, which has led to corruption becoming prevalent in African politics. It's no surprise that many African countries feature prominently on the list of the world's most corrupt nations. This situation arises from the fact that Africa is home to politicians who manipulate constitutions for their gain, embezzle public funds at the expense of the people, and silence those who expose their wrongdoing. However, there is hope for change as a new generation of African leaders is emerging. These leaders are committed to combating corruption and working towards the betterment of their countries. One such leader is Basiru Diame Faye, the recently elected president of Senegal and the world's youngest elected president. Faye has made it his mission to distinguish himself from the older generation of African leaders. Unlike many African presidents who come to power through fraud, constitutional manipulation, or suppression of opposition, Faye's election can be considered fair and just. There were no reports of electoral violence or manipulation to secure votes for Faye. Instead, his campaign, led by Usman Sanko, successfully attracted support, particularly from young Senegalese who were dissatisfied with the outgoing administration. It's worth noting that Faye faced significant time constraints, as he had only one week to conduct his campaign after being released from prison, where he had been held for the past 11 months on charges believed to be politically motivated. In a surprising turn of events, Faye emerged victorious, securing 54% of the presidential vote. However, there was something remarkable that caught everyone's attention. Just two days before the election, on March 22, 2024, Faye took to his Facebook page and made an unprecedented move in African politics. He publicly disclosed his entire wealth portfolio. This act was truly uncommon in the realm of African politics. None of the other 18 presidential candidates, including the ruling party's nominee, Amadou Ba, had revealed their wealth. Faye's publication, titled Heritage Declaration of the Candidate, provided a comprehensive list of his assets and liabilities dating back to October 2007. According to the declaration, the newly elected president owned a single house situated on a 200-square-meter plot of land. The property had been constructed between 2017 and 2021, financed partly by Faye's funds and partly through settled loans obtained from the tax union. Additionally, he possessed two vehicles, a 2012 pre-owned Focus, purchased in 2019 for 6.5 million CFA francs, and a second-hand Ford Explorer Platinum, acquired in 2022 for 19 million CFA francs. Apart from his house and cars, Fay also disclosed the total amount of money held in his bank accounts. The document revealed that as of March 19, 2024, he maintained funds in two bank accounts. One account held over 3 million CFA francs, while the other contained over 7 million CFA francs. Furthermore, Faye listed undeveloped properties, including an 80-square-meter plot acquired in 2017, valued at 3 million CFA francs, and a 4.3-hectare agricultural land acquired in 2022, valued at 15 million CFA francs. In the spirit of transparency, Faye also acknowledged his liabilities. He disclosed a 30 million CFA franc loan obtained on September 5, 2022, an 8 million CFA franc loan acquired on August 26, 2022, and a 10 million CFA franc loan from a friend. This display of transparency was truly extraordinary. What's more, Faye's actions were not influenced by the knowledge of his election victory. According to legal requirements, presidential candidates are obligated to declare their assets after winning the election. Hence, Faye had no obligation to disclose his wealth before the election. However, he chose to do so, demonstrating his commitment to transparency and setting himself apart from his predecessors. Furthermore, 
Faye made a resolute statement by declaring his intention to promptly submit the document to the Constitutional Court as soon as he assumed office. This pledge further solidified his reputation as a leader who prioritizes transparency and accountability. Faye's actions have garnered widespread support from the Senegalese population and Africans at large. This is due to the unfortunate reality that the majority of African leaders tend to withhold the declaration of their assets before assuming office. Such non-disclosure allows them to exploit their positions for personal gain without facing public scrutiny. A prominent example can be found in Nigeria, often referred to as the giant of Africa. In Nigeria, the law mandates that public officials declare their assets. However, a significant loophole has allowed many Nigerian politicians to take advantage of the situation. While the law stipulates asset declaration, it does not necessarily require making those declarations public. Consequently, Nigerians are often unable to access these records. A notable incident arose in 2012 when Goodluck Jonathan was Nigeria's president, and the matter of asset declaration surfaced. Surprisingly, President Jonathan responded by stating that public asset declaration was a matter of personal principles. He firmly declared that he would not disclose his assets, regardless of any external pressure or criticism he received. This refusal persisted even when the African Union called upon President Jonathan and other African leaders to openly declare their assets and subject their wealth to public scrutiny. In 2015, President Muhammadu Buhari attempted to break the pattern by publicly declaring his assets. However, it was widely acknowledged in Nigeria that this move was made in response to mounting pressure and the need to fulfill a key campaign promise. Even then, the details provided were vague, and throughout his eight-year tenure, comprehensive disclosure remained elusive. It is crucial to note that the issue of politicians refraining from declaring their assets extends beyond Nigeria. This trend has been observed across the African continent over time. While politicians like former Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan argue that asset declaration is a matter of personal principle, the reality is that asset declaration serves as a potent political tool in the fight against corruption within the government. Imagine if there were a legal requirement for all politicians, from the president to the lowest-ranking government officials, to publicly declare their assets before assuming power. Without a doubt, this would significantly bolster the anti-corruption campaign. With public asset declarations, citizens would be empowered to monitor the expansion or contraction of public officers' wealth, including that of the president. The ability to track and monitor the wealth of politicians is crucial for anti-corruption efforts in any country. When politicians' true wealth remains undisclosed to the public, it becomes incredibly challenging to identify and investigate suspicious increases in their net worth, which could be the result of illicit activities like bribery or embezzlement of public funds. This lack of transparency allows leaders to leave office richer than when they entered, without facing any legal consequences. Breaking this cycle of corruption is essential for the growth and development of the African continent. Unlike Goodluck Jonathan, who believed that asset declaration should be a matter of personal choice, Senegal's president-elect, Diame Faye, recognizes that it should be a legal requirement. Faye understands that leaders should be transparent and accountable to the people they serve. His decision to declare his assets sets a positive example for other African leaders to follow. By publicly disclosing his wealth, Faye provides credibility to his commitment to govern with humility and combat corruption at all levels of government. The people of Senegal have chosen to break away from the past by electing Faye as their president. Other African leaders need to emulate his actions and prioritize transparency and accountability. Overall, Faye's decision to publicly declare his assets has significant implications for Senegal and the broader African continent. It reflects a departure from traditional practices and emphasizes the importance of transparency, accountability, and the fight against corruption in the region's governance systems. We would love to hear your thoughts on the actions of Senegal's president-elect. 
Please share your opinions in the comments section below. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.